father was diagnosed manic depressive in 1967. He'd been going around Cambridge in a fake beard. He met my mother there. She didn't care. Half the people they knew were going bananas. So they got married, and they had me, and then my sister. We were happy. I know there's more to it than that. There always is. Maggie! I'm not manic, I'm fine. Maggie, men like to live free. That's why we have balls. We know daddy would never hurt us, but it's hard for people to understand that. Why can't daddy live here with us? He's a way better cook than you. I think if you could stop drinking and take your lithium, then mommy would let you come home. I got into business school. Here's my proposal. I go to New York, you move in with the girls, and you take care of them. Me? Well, most men would be completely emasculated by having their wife go off to be the breadwinner. Maggie! Maggie! I love you! Hey, I'll kill you! That was so embarrassing! Do you want me to pick you up after school? No! I'm depressed. Of course you are. Your dog ran away, your family gives you just barely enough money to live off, and you annoy people. If you're not going to do the dishes, then I'm doing them. Okay. Fine! Why do you have so much stuff? Our dad is totally polar bear. We don't want people to see how we live! Big deal how you live! It's not your fault! Don't not have friends because of me! Name one father in America who's up right now sewing a flamenco skirt for the daughter. Are you taking your lithium? You have to take responsibility for your condition. The way you've taken responsibility for your children? You know, Faithy told me last night, the thing about Daddy is that he's always there.